Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I am in Porto, Portugal with my family. It is an absolutely beautiful city. It's my first time in Portugal. And of course we have to go to the world famous Laverio Lello Library. It is also a bookstore. We've purchased our tickets ahead of time because I read online that I can be very, very busy. So we're gonna go at 9 a.m. to see the opening of the bookstore and look around and hopefully buy a book. Let's go. Of course, we had to start off with a delicious breakfast. Our hosts were so kind and made us an amazing breakfast in the morning. And then we had to say hello to this little dog guarding his store in the street. The area around the bookstore is beautiful. There's so many incredible buildings and monuments and museums and statues. So we wandered around a little bit and then made our way to the library. And already at 9 a.m., there was a line outside the door. I did my best not to film everybody, but it was really crowded already at 9. And when you first walked in, there were these amazing floor-to-ceiling bookshelves, just full of all kinds of books. And then in the center, there was this amazing staircase that went up two sides. They had an English section, as well as many other languages. There's my sister and I enjoying it, and so many books with beautiful gilded edges. This stained glass window at the top was just stunning, and you could look at this beautiful staircase. Tell me if you think my sister is pretending to read or if she's actually reading. And then there's me definitely not posing on the staircase, and just looking at the antique books above in the higher bookshelves. This ceiling was below the staircase, and it's just incredible, so ornate. Everywhere you looked, there was just something beautiful and unexpected. There were so many colors and shapes, textures. They had so many different books from The Count of Monte Cristo to quite a bit of Murakami's writing, as well as Ali Smith and Hilary Mantel. They also had a section of children's books, and then me trying to avoid filming people, but there were a lot. I love the upstairs area. This pink ceiling with the stained glass was just incredible. The lighting was so amazing. And yeah, it was just beautiful. And there you can see how many people there really were. I had picked out two copies of their classics collection, which are smaller books but have really, really beautiful covers and gilded edges. Um, I picked up a copy of Anna Karenina and also The Little Prince. However, after standing in line for about 15 minutes and not moving anywhere, we figured it'd be at least an hour and a half to buy our books. And unfortunately, we decided to put them away, but I think you can buy them online, so maybe I'll do that instead. The bookstore was very, very beautiful. I would recommend buying your ticket in advance if you are to go and to also go before your ticket time. And if you're gonna buy a book, buy the book first and then enjoy the bookstore because um, usually people look around the bookstore and then pick up a book to purchase and the line is just ridiculously long. It is such a beautiful store. Everywhere you look, it is so ornate and designed. They have antique books higher up behind some glass um, along with busts of different authors. And it was just really beautiful. The ceiling's incredible. They have stained glass windows. The staircase was just magnificent. Um, I was really happy I went. And yeah, I really enjoyed it but hopefully I'll be able to purchase some of their classics collections online. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've been to Porto, um, if you've been to this bookstore, and what you thought. Thank you so much for watching, and see you soon. Bye!